Okay, so we are now going to uh, paint our shark silhouette. You actually get to choose um, a great white or a hammerhead because a hammerhead is going to be very simple because we'll just put like a big rectangle on the end of his nose. So first of all, uh, we have to do a shark study. So we have to see the basic shapes of a shark. And we don't need to do a color study on the shark because remember we're doing silhouette. So all we're going to be getting is his outline, his very crisp outline because remember he's going to be up against, um, let me open this real quick, he'll actually be up against light. Remember we did the lighter color right in here and so we're just going to be getting the silhouette of the shark. But first we are going to let me minimize that. We're going to look at, let's look at a real picture of a great white real quick. All right, so if you notice a great white, first of all, we're going to look at the basic shape. He almost kind of goes up in the center. He's a lot thicker up at the top. If you notice that, his nose kind of goes down to, it's not a point so much, but it's close to a point. It's kind of a roundy point, like a capital A uh, without the point. And his body gets thinner as he goes back. If you notice his little, do you see how his body is thin back here? It's thicker in the middle, and he's got that little roundy, almost a point. His nose almost goes to a little point, but it's roundy. His fins, look at his fins. Look where they're located. He's got one fin down here on his, uh, that's the other side of it, but there's one fin on the other side of his belly. Look where they're located. Uh, he's got a I think that's called a dorsal fin on the top. That's that little pointy one on the top. And then his tail almost does a, um, to me, that looks like, it looks like a, if I was to make almost like a capital A, a roundy capital A, and then I've got this line, instead of going straight across, I actually do like a rainbow arch. All right, so that's a real picture of a great white. Now let's look at some silhouettes. And, of course, we are going to be doing, you can do it however you want. Mine is actually turning his body. So we need to really notice where those fins are placed because that's going to be important. We can't put fins where it really doesn't go on a shark. Now, they're all going to look different. They're not going to look exactly the same, but their fins are probably all going to be in the same place. So... If you notice, we've got a little pointy one here on the very top, so we just need to know he's got a pointy one on the top. Again, look at the shape of that nose, and when he's this way, you can see the bottom. This is almost like his chin. We're looking up at him, and we've got that roundy uh, little capital A looking shape. Here's a good picture of it right here. This is kind of like what mine looks like. It does almost look like a capital A. His little fins, now from the bottom, you're not going to see that dorsal fin. You're only going to see the two fins on the side. So that's why you don't see the, the pointy dorsal fin on the top because I'm actually, this shark right here, we're looking at the bottom. So we can't see it. And then there's his tail that almost does a little capital A look right there. His little fins in the back. Okay, and then if I was to make a hammerhead, I would just put a... Um, Here's a hammerhead right here. I would just put a rectangle. Look at that. Just put like a big uh, rectangle on the front of him. So you can do either one. So the very first thing we're going to do is I told you we were going to create that uh, look, that effect as if sun rays are coming um, up from the top. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your chalk and you're going to, in the middle of your paper, I've actually just got it on its side, and I'm just putting some chalk here in the center. This will also help make the center of your paper wider if you didn't get it quite white. And then you're just going to take your fingers and you're just going to go all the way to the edge of your paper. And you're just going to do this like you're creating almost like a sun. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to fill all my empty spaces almost like I'm creating a sun. And voila, that's all you need just to give that nice little look. Now, see, our shark will be right here in the middle. And that's all you need. Perfect. All right, so the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to think about, okay, this is how I want my shark. So I'm not going to see that dorsal fin. I'm only going to see the fins on this side. And then his tail almost had like a, like a capital A on the bottom. 
So I am going to, and I want him in this direction. So I'm actually going to do his nose first. And I'm going to do almost like that, like I'm going to make a capital A. I think I want him right there. And then remember his body was actually fatter in the middle, it was bigger, and then it got skinnier. So I'm going to go ahead and do one side of him. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do one side and I'm going to curve it. Just like that. Perfect. And then I'm going to make sure it's skinny at the bottom and it's going to get bigger and bigger as I go towards the center. So I'm going to go ahead and just do the body. I'm not worried about anything else right now. I just want to do the body. I want to make sure it's bigger in the center. And that's okay. You can go right over that chalk with your paint. So this is about, it almost looks like a banana. It almost looks like a banana. All right, so this is important because I've got to put his fins exactly where his fins are supposed to go. So I'm actually going to slant back here. I'm going to go right up underneath that A, right up underneath the bottom of that A, and I'm just going to slant back. And again, on the same exact, I need to make sure he's symmetrical, the same exact side, I'm going to slant back. Then... I'm actually going to put almost like a sideways V. I'm going to create almost like a sideways V on top of the shark. And I'm going to fill that in. And then his tail, I'm actually going to put almost like an A. Look at this. I'm almost creating like an A. Or a V. Whatever whatever you want want that to be, but that's about the shape you're going to do. Just make sure it's pointy at the bottom. And if you want to do a hammerhead, all you're going to do is I'm going to put a rectangle right over his little snout, and voila, I have created a hammerhead. So you can do either one, and that is our little um, silhouette of our sharks. Okay, when you are done, you will put your paintbrush in the sink, and we will start our palm tree projects. Okay, have fun.